how to use the WordPress admin area. Now that you know that the WordPress admin area is and what it contains, let's take a closer look at how it works. This section in this video will, will give you an overview of some of the essential features of the admin area, creating and managing posts. Posts are the pieces of content that make up your website's blog. To create a new post, go to the post section of your admin area and click the add new button. On the add new post a screen, you will be able to enter the title and content for your post as well as set of featured images and other options. Once you are finished, click the publish button to publish your post. You can also manage your existing post from this screen. To do this, hover over your post and click the edit link. From here, you can edit the post title, content and other settings. You can also delete a post by clicking the trash link. Creating and managing pages. In the WordPress admin area, you can create and manage pages. First, go to the pages and new section to create new page. Here you can enter the title and content for your page. Once you are satisfied with your page, click the publish button to make it live. To manage existing pages, go to the pages, all pages section. Here you will see a list of all the pages on your site. From here, you can edit pages, delete pages or change their order. You can also search for a specific pages by entering a keyword in a search box. Pages are a great way to add a static content to your WordPress website. With pages, you can provide information about yourself or your business, showcase products or services, or create a contact form. You can easily create and manage pages on your site using the WordPress admin area. Creating and managing media. The WordPress admin area also allows you to manage your website's media. Media is used for images, videos, and other files you upload to your website. To add new media to your site, go to the media, add new section of your admin area. Here you can upload files from your computer or select files that you have already uploaded. Once you have selected the files you want to add, click the insert into post button. To manage your existing media, go to the media lib and library sec section. Here you will see a list of all the media files on your site. From here you can edit or delete files and view files details. Creating and managing comments. To begin managing com comments on your website, go to the comments section which can be found in the left hand sidebar on the dashboard. Here you will see a list of all the comments that have been made on your website, including those that are awaiting moderation. To approve or delete a comment, simply click on the appropriate button next to each comment. You can also reply to comments directly from this page. If you want to change the settings for how comments are displayed on your website, or if you want to enable comment registration, you can do so by going to setting and discussion in the left hand sidebar. Here you will find several options that will allow you to customize the commenting experience on your site. Once you have made any changes, be sure to click on the save changes button at the bottom of the page. WordPress makes it easy to track and manage your website's comments by taking advantage of the features in the WordPress admin area. You can ensure that your site's comments are moderated effectively and the users and that users have a positive experience when interacting with your site. Creating and managing users. First, you will want to click on the users link in the sidebar. This will take you to the main users page. On this page, you will see a list of all the users who currently have access to your website. To add new user, 
click the add new button at the top of the page this will take you to the add new user page you must enter the new user's name email address and password you can also set their role on your website once you have entered all the required information click the add new user button to edit an existing user click on their name in the list of users on the main users page this will take you to their profile page on this page you can edit their username email address password and role on your website once you have made the necessary changes click on the update user button at the bottom of the page in the next video must know changing your site's appearance